So you were telling me mm -hmm. about your father and his spiritual quest. And he came here in 46, you said? 45. 45, 45 huh? Mm -hmm. Did he talk to you about Sri Aurobindo? Did he mention him after the darshans that you can remember? No, she was not born Actually, then. we were born, I was 57 born, and mm -hmm. she was, and um, we were too small, and the problem with him was this, that my mother was an ailing mother, ah, yes. so most of the time was spent, all he would do is refer to books and all that, only much later, much later, when we were as students, my mother had passed away, it was that was the time when he used to talk about uh -huh. uh, Sri Aurobindo and the mother and the ashram. Then, like uh, he would say that uh, he would talk about those special days when mother would come down for those uh, you know Kali Puja, the great pujas, yes, yes and uh, be in the chair in the chair meditation room. And, uh, he recalled one of them when mother had come down yes. uh, uh, quite late at night for Kali as uh, and he says that uh, we could I could just see I mean Ma coming down those steps in that blue sari yes, was very deep deep deep, deep and the meditation hall and uh, we were just you know absolutely we were like uh, stunned sort and mother coming down 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 and you know her expression was a trance like expression and they were all waiting for a very long period of time to just to uh, waiting for that long and then he comes down and then she comes down and then they sit for meditation and uh, that was one of those precious precious very Moments. late. There is no timing There's restriction. No timing. It can be after twelve, after midnight, at any time. But it was they would all patiently wait for yeah, and those mother hours. had so much on yes. her that she couldn't come. Yes. 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 So those were the uh, very those, uh, things. And, uh, so then, tell a little bit about the life of your father after coming here. Um, after coming here, actually, he was more uh, he got himself as a, as you yes, said we do talk uh, about button and vision. yes he actually was uh, then got himself uh, that was the time when Patha Mandir, which is uh, one of the oldest uh, Sri Aurobindo's centers. Uh, like centers in India in India Sri it Aurobindo in it's in College Street still it is there mm -hmm. Sri Aurobindo Patha Mandir, it's called and uh, it was sanctioned by the mother with her blessings and uh, there were a few signatories and he was one of them, the founder oh. members of the center. Um. It is supposed to be one of the oldest in the country. And that time uh, the relics was, Sri Aurobindo's relics were there. And at Sri Aurobindo Patha Mandir, Calcutta College Street. Then uh, he got very much involved, yes. collectively involved. That was his life. He would go in after his office hours. He was just working there. Working till 1972, Sri Aurobindo's birth centenary. He with many other, like we, there was a very big, uh, very famous devotee. Uh, he owned uh, Aurora, Aurora Films. Films. Satya Bose, his name Satya was. Bose. Satya Bose was there, Aurora Films. He made some very, very good films on Sri Ramakrishna and others, oh. Sister Nivedita. And they were all shown in the Ashram playground. That time, Aurora Films was very famous. Even Satyajit Ray made some films under his banner. I it see. was such a famous, he was a famous man, Aurora Films in Calcutta. And uh, he was uh, one of the members, founder members, with my father there in Patamandir. And in 1972, they wanted, because that Patamandir, the place was very small. Actually, it was part of the 
what was home? indian coffee house indian coffee house but it was uh, old time uh, 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 some indian town hall it was a it town was a, hall like a town hall it was uh-huh. but it it's it was an indian coffee house mm. on top of it was this uh, bottom mandir and uh, with your mother's relics and mother's shoes and all kept there so uh, then it was a small place so they wanted to celebrate uh, sri aurobindo centenary and that also has to be in calcutta his birthplace so they fought very hard to get acquire that acquire his acquire birthplace. his birthplace eight shakespeare sarani sarani that was his that was the place. time when my father had to my father and a lot of them sleepless nights they had to acquire with that. the government of west bengal they managed to acquire that house eight shakespeare shakespeare sarani that is at present Shakespeare Shakespeare what? That's your Sarani. Shakespeare Sarani. Sarani is road. S A R I. In memory of Shakespeare. Shakespeare. S A R A N I. Sarani. Sarani. Eight Shakespeare Sarani. That is your in the Bhavan at present. <sighs> That is the Bhavan. In seventy two, it was inaugurated, and now it's uh, looked after by the government of West Bengal and our devotees. <sighs> so he he worked a lot for that. So he was, you know. it was a sort who was um pondicherry but then whatever mother's work outside, outside was very important for it people should know she or we did that was so he was he was many in. other centers were formed in his presence yeah, yes. quite a lot of quite a few and he, he used formed. to you know with patha mandir with the other members he used to go uh, you know there used to be a lot of donation that Would just collected. simply come, and my father was a foremost forerunner in collection of for <laughs> the mother's birthday for on the twenty first. That amount of money must reach the mother's feet, oh, must. Yes. So, oh my God! All of them would. Why are you so late? Why are you so late? Wait, my work is still not done. I have to do a lot of work. And all those big commercial houses mm. would just. So generous they would be. I see. So yes, so just so Tiram has come. Just the name no of Sri Aurobindo Ashram, and the mother. He would say, "I am the rep. Who are you? I am the representative of the mother and Sri Aurobindo." Wherever he went, who are you? I am the representative of the mother and Sri Aurobindo. And he would ask in their name, just like that. I uh, know he would say that. Uh, well, I'm doing it for Patamand. They knew ah, Patamand. Okay. They knew Sri Aurobindo. Yeah, they knew. So yes. They won't they knew know. Everything Bengal won't know. Ah. And yeah. Bengal was so vibrant with Sri Aurobindo. So, and there used to be those, as you know, Indian silk house always had. But uh, Rishabh Chand. Rishabh Chand. Oh, Rishabh Chand. Indian silk house. Indian silk house. They would always give an advertisement in the newspapers the on first, Mother's Day. The first fifteenth August, twenty-first February, twenty-fourth mm. February, twenty-fourth. Right, right in front, the statesmen oh, and all the major, major newspapers. newspapers will. So that's print that's the how everybody is exposed. So there, to for collections wasn't. Ah, uh, homage to. Ah. Did your father come here then after seventy-two? Oh yes, oh yes, he came right. He passed away in the year nineteen ninety eight, and uh, he he came here up I think in nineteen ninety seven. Last he came. Yeah, he, he, he found it a li- little difficult, difficult because to walk his, uh, because of his arthritis. Arthritis, it was so little difficult. So we, he managed to come. We used to manage. pull him along, bring him with a maid. We used to manage. So he was eighty one. Eighty two. Eighty two. Eighty two. Four of for twenty second April. Uh. Nineteen ninety-eight. Now, do you remember any of the older, oldest sadaks? Champak Lal. Champak Lal. Champak Lal. Tell us. Champak Lal. He was. Yeah, my father was very close to him too. When my mother passed away, and him uh, when my mother passed away, he came. My father came here. So he was. My uh, mother allowed my father to sit for a meditation in Sri Aurobindo's room. So say that. Yeah. Uh, so he sat for meditation. I mean, he was sitting. He was sitting. Now the timing, I think, was fifteen minutes or twenty minutes. Then he was thinking, "Am I taking a lot of time?" He couldn't. Half an hour passed. Nearly one hour passed. He couldn't get up. 
he just couldn't get up and as he was making an effort to get up jabbar lal ji was telling my father every time his body was just fixed he could not he said my body was so heavy it didn't seem that it was me sitting there and then finally he could get up after a long long time he got up and he walked away he said that was every time i was about to get up and uh, champak lal ji was doing that then he said i don't know my body was so heavy so very heavy the mother was telling me to sit and i just kept sitting and uh, he used to be very friendly with us you know champak lal ji he used to call me my big eyes i see he used to call me my big eyes so whenever we used to come to the ashram or to the this thing nolinida would say okay these people have come so he used to be there at the top of the stairs waiting for waiting. us and as soon as uh, we would go he would just smile at us all of us then he would just hug me and tell me oh my big eyes my big eyes <laughs> so is uh, that was it Very and nolinida was uh, mm-hmm. to call our major decisions in life oh. all our major decisions after my sister graduated then should she come here my children should be here or what all major decisions he said no he said no. i don't know why he said no, no he, he said, said no late late let's just late. talk in very monotone, monotone. just single yes. single yes. 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 Says, no not now mm. now is not the time for your children to be here that was i think when she had finished her ma is after mother left her body you know, says, no not now yes. did you know amrita at all did you remember no, him no, at all much. no or uh, or mara udar 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 yeah udar. actually udar's that page is still uh, signed that, uh, you did you bring it no i don't you know when mother passed uh, when shirbindu passed away there was that um, i think i have it there was a little note that was circulated i think and uh, it was signed this by udar if i'm not wrong they all got it from him this little is that udar signature no this is yes when mother passed away this uh, little note that was circulated in the end it is the, i think there is a signature of udar if you can yes 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 Okay. This note that was father got because he was doing a lot of work outside, so he had to be given all uh, these people things. Started people started questioning how him. mother left. Uh, oh, has he, this been published? I don't, I don't know. You can kindly read it and see, and uh, whether it's meant for, for publication for all all of us, then you may. Well, if it has not been published, it must be. it is so it, be it is so important that signed by him also by udar those days and this was the 17th november 1973 that was circulated this one that nolini does oh yes i remember this yes yes and and that's in here also yes. i just saw it here where following message your physical body belong to the old creation yeah, yeah. yes now if it is not been published it really should be should we can keep it we can keep it keep it well i'll make a copy of it yeah. and return the original to you okay. all you right yeah i'll do that so uh what do you do in the ashram now what have what have you been doing for so many years yes uh, we settled here actually in uh, finally settled here mm-hmm. 2003 april april 2003 we left our school jobs both of us mm-hmm. much before time i left it 7 years before my retirement age and she left more than that mm-hmm. 16 years or so still service left it to do so we left before we couldn't stay we couldn't uh, kind of adjust ourselves to the world outside 
we found it very difficult life very difficult in the sense that we didn't like the way they talked the life the diet the way they behaved and whatever you might say. actually it's a very um as you grow as you somehow graduate into a, a certain stage then you feel that these things are also immaterial uh, all this uh, these cars these houses these dresses and jewelry because you have to be with them means i'm not belittling anyone that's understand. their way of, yes, we understand. that's their growth and if you have seen a brighter side of life when you have seen the uh, other side. seriousness of life then of course it becomes a little you were living in calcutta it was uh-huh. actually not in calcutta proper in one of the districts of west uh-huh. bengal howrah in howrah yeah. i've been to howrah Yes. Our station. Yeah, our station. So that's the school where we uh, studied and uh, St. Agnes's Convent. That's the school where we studied as well as taught. So what is your work here? The work here is actually we are in the marbling group at present. For the last 10 years we are in the marbling group. And in the afternoon we have started working i am in the marbling group in the afternoon too she is in batik in batik in the afternoon batik department see. so we are in the morning and in the afternoon whatever mm-hmm. time we can give other than our work at our home we have to do our own work in the house so you met of course all of my dear family pushpa money oh, man yes yes <laughs> but yes, nobody can you talk a little bit about them because uh-huh. they both uh, pushpa says she won't do an interview no will nilu mm-hmm. and uh, mani ben was so wonderful yes. uh, when when they were making the first major uh restructuring of the marbling mm-hmm. room my wife mary helen <laughs> who was accepted uh, by their mother ba <laughs> who used to sit on the floor and cook and mary helen would sit with the family so it be very special if you can say something about pushpa and mani ben mani ben was her work is worship her work is yoga as long as she could come to the marbling department that is she would be there right and left center and forward everything is marbling her work everything and i still remember the first day when i walked in i felt that i know nothing i have to start learning everything because that's how i felt when i saw her because she is such a great worker and a great teacher sincere uh, worker I a and teacher a great teacher how to do even little things she was so very particular about even the smallest of thing anything and lying anything down anything lying down whether it's a bit of paper or anything on the way she was so simple extremely simple open hearted and very very good teacher good. and when the first day i went in i just entered and i said this is what chitra di has given me she asked me to see you you want to work here i said yes then she said you want to work now i said yes immediately i said yes <laughs> then come then come because you have to be ready that's what she meant are you ready indirectly that was money bends she scolded us she taught us everything now that the work that we do in marbling is because of money bend because of her she has set the entire department with her own hands and everything is just being followed 
that. Even up to this date. Whatever we are doing is because of Mani Ben's instruction. <laughs> she will never forget a thing. Never forget a thing. Even now when we go to meet her at home, she says, see, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. I said, no, you're doing She said, yes, I only clean these vessels and I make a bit of tea and I read and do this. I said, you know, I make the first cup of tea for everybody in the morning. <laughs> so sweet. That's She's true. extremely sweet. And Pushpa Ben is just following whatever has been yes. left. Yeah, she is helping us through. Otherwise, I always tell her, because you all are there, mm -hmm. we feel that we are still living in that period when the mother and she are in the were ah, there. Yes. Really. Very they important. vibrate, they carry it with them. Yes. Even the attire. What I really miss nowadays, those starched, those starched white, white saris, yes. those simple yes. people walking down the ashram footpath, you know, and there we used to almost, we used to sit on the road, you know, it used to be so neat and clean and very few people. So I'll tell you a story that Mani Ben told me. I don't know if you've heard it before. Marbling was doing very poorly. Mm -hmm. It was losing money. Mm -hmm. And Mani Ben said this to Mother, and she said, do you think we should close it? Yes. And Mother said, no, it has an occult purpose. purpose. You, yes. knew, you, yes. you had heard that. It should us. never stop. It should never it stop should never because stop. of yes. occult reasons. It should yes. never stop. Yes. So we've had very bad times at times, very bad times, but it has never stopped. And the other day only, Pushpa Ben said, will, shall we manage? We'll, I said, don't worry, Pushpa Ben. We will manage. It happens, you know, somehow. Somehow, somehow. They just, we just pull up. The mother is there. That's what. Due to occult reasons. Due to occult reasons. It should carry on. It should not stop. So we are still managing. Did you ever meet Dilip Kumar Roy? No. No. But your father knew him? Yes. Father heard he him heard sing him and, sing and, him and sing. all that. And he used to say that when he would sing, he would just go into a particular plane. It used to be very loud and sort of, you know. It was not like a cleat. I mean, it was not very, very like anybody singing. You could know, you could feel that it was coming from a plane, from a particular plane. So that was, and he would get lost in his song, he says. So that's what we heard. And yes. voice would reach, no microphone needed. Yes. His voice. So strong. Oh, so strong. powerful voice. And uh, that was, uh, we knew a little, I think. Uh, Sahanadi. Sahanadi. Sahana. Sahana. You knew her. Sahana, mm -hmm. a, a little one. Uh, the tailoring week. department downstairs. Yes, yes, it was yes. Sahana Di's department. Yes. She was actually closely related to the Tagore. I mean, she was uh, from Shantani Ketan. Not related. But Not Shantani related. Ketan from connected. Shantani. Connected. But a wonderful singer, no? Yes. Singer. Or and compo she composed. composed. Yeah. She actually, composed I believe. Budget. When one of the dance drama was, one of the dance dramas of Tagore, Tagore was, right. was, was there, I think, which, which one, I don't remember, she told us that, that one particular character was, uh, uh, was fitted into that drama, keeping Sahana in mind. Oh, I see. And I remember when our music teacher from our school had accompanied in one of our uh, trips, trips here to the ashram. She was here and uh, we took her to Sahanadi. And uh, she said, you sing? She said, yes. You sing Rabindra Sangeet? She said, yes. And she said that don't, um, what do you say? Be careful of the notations. Hmm. See that, uh, what? She said, it should be kept to the original, okay? See oh, that they are not lost. Very interesting. Yeah. They are not lost. And uh, she came back with streaming eyes. She said, yes, it is getting lost. The 
uh, the old notations. You know, they're trying to change a little to modify, suit, modify yeah. a little to suit to the modern taste. The modern taste. So, yes. so it was very true, and she could get that vibration, vibration that things are changing. But she was songs. sitting in that small room, but she could feel what's happening outside. Outside, yes. So that was our sahana day. Do you have any special memories of any other ashramites um, that you have? Dhuman Bhai was very, ah, very close to my, my father. father. Very oh. close, Dhuman Bhai. He used to write letters to yes, my father. There used to be exchanges. Letters. Yeah. Exchanging so, letters uh, regarding, uh, um, you know, my father used to be connected with, uh, as I said, Bhavan and all that. So at times there used to be, you know, questions that were being asked. So yeah. Dhuman Bhai was one who would uh, clarify. Even Niruddha used to clarify. Questions? Man. Especially during the Auroville phase. Oh, the Auroville phase, you know, that was a bit of turmoil. Bit and uh, whether at all the city of dawn will come up or not, whether it's just an utopia, those questions would be asked to him, no? Your father would ask? No. no. People no. outside, because... People outside, outside would, would ask. ask him. Mm -hmm. So my father was... Would, uh, so he used to get some strong answers from Niruddha, you know, yeah. and Niruddha would always say that, no, it is in the master's plan, mother's plan. It will happen and it will take shape. So that's it. So that's how things... Uh, always there is to be those, you know, some, you know, Auroville that uh, we remember the foundation of Auroville too. Yes, both of us were there. Uh, both you of were us both were there. there. Yeah, yeah. 1968. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Remember this. And uh, tell me about your visits to the chamber, uh, Machu Mandir oh, chamber. Oh, yes. So, yes, it was, I felt as if, when the first time I went, I felt as if, well, this is how the heavens must be, you know. Up and up and up and up. And that up. was the feeling, as if up we are up, up, up in the clouds, you clouds. Know, moving up in the up clouds. Something because it's such a universal us. force. Uh -huh. Something. Yes. As if I was floating somewhere, not like a kind of, I don't know, fairyland. And then feeling the force then there. Just then that solid, so concrete. There, concrete there inside. No motion, concrete. Uh, meditation there is concrete, simply concrete. But always this feeling that we are moving up to the heavens. Some kind of a mother's painting. So yes. beautiful. Yes, Preeti Dee's painting. Preeti Dee's painting, ah. Preeti Ghosh's painting. Yes, yes. Moving up, up, up. So beautiful. And, uh, and I, very often I ask, this is the universe, the golden globe, this is the universe, this is the solid universe, yeah. and this is where, oh, our, what to say, it's something which really has taken shape and will show the rest of the world. There are many other domes coming up, like Auroville. I wonder whether you've seen them in photographs and pictures. Many architectural patterns are coming very much like that shape. Hmm? Mm. Pyramids. Yes, you must have seen the ideas of pyramids and the light streaming through one opening. All such ideas are coming up elsewhere. So that means back of the mind, Orville is there. Whoever is making it, it's there. So what the mother and Sri Aurobindo have shown to the world is really magnifying all over, everybody. Whether they accept it or not, it's yeah. there. Yeah. It's concretely there. Yeah. So if we take it in the subtle physical level, just subtle, if, if we can feel it, I'm an ordinary person talking here, if we can feel it, it is happening. And it's here to stay forever, to show. I remember one of my aunts came. She, she knew nothing of the ashram uh. and nothing of Auroville. But she only cried. She was so moved. She said, the guide was telling me something. And she couldn't explain properly. 
But she was crying. She said, yes, now I know why your father would bring you here only, nowhere else. That's what, I think three, four years back, for the first time she came to Pondicherry, to the ashram, to all of it. She comes back and she tells me, now I know why your father would bring you here and nowhere else. In closing, perhaps you could both say something about the samadhi and the service tree. Service tree. Actually, we used to play around the service tree and pick the dry leaves from there because Jugulda's mother used to be engaged in picking up the dry leaves and she would engage me too. So I wouldn't talk. So everything in gestures and pick up. So I would ask whether this is dry or not. So that's how I knew which is dry and which is fresh. But the men would dance around the place. So for me, the samadhi was... Now it is concrete, now it is... But as a child, it was mother upstairs, the Lord here, and I am free. I'm a free bird here moving around. I still remember my father would sit for meditation for hours and uh, I used to play around sometimes go and touch my this thing forehead there and then come away sit do all sorts of things and uh, after some time I used to take those pebbles are there no those uh, pillars mm -hmm. and the pebbles I used to put some pebbles into my father's pocket into my father because it has to be carried home it has and his both his pockets would be And when he used to get up, he used to find it so, so heavy. heavy. He couldn't he said, get What's up? wrong? A lot of noise coming from where? So I have filled his pockets with all those oh, pebbles. And he used to go back home. And uh, it was a treasure. It was a treasure. So Samadhi then and Samadhi now, it's, I can't say it is so concrete. Yes, and those days. It was a little higher, I yeah. think. Uh, no, it was um, a little lower. Lower or something. Lower, grayish. Grayish, yes. Grayish. Grayish, yeah. Grayish. And uh, yeah, they, I don't think there were Tulsi there. No. Tulsis no. there. No. And uh, people used to, they used to sell flowers outside and they used to just put those flowers in the samadhi. Then mother stopped it because it was getting... Actually, they would, uh, this Bishwanidi, who early morning she used to give us flowers and incense oh. sticks in the morning itself. Uh -huh. So we used to go and place them according to our own free will. We, like there was no uh, kind of uh, restriction mm. at all because people were few in number. Yes. And only real devotees would come. Real devotees who knew, knew and read Sri and, and the Mother. The mother. They were the ones there were very few outsiders coming, like, you know, the local Tamils would come, but, but not as, mm. not like now. Now everybody's now absorbing, yeah. absorbing yes, it yes. very well. So we used to do our pranam quite peacefully, sit on the steps or in the Those veranda, same, uh -huh. old, same steps. old steps. The same veranda, veranda. And Nirodha, as I said, would come out sometimes yes. and see inspect those. Inspect the uh, afternoon. Inspect. Yes, <laughs> inspect the same. Like. And wouldn't say anything. Would just make a little gesture and say, like that. And that means the flower, not here, there, here, there. Or if and anything is dry, any flower is dry, just remove it and get rid of it. You should just look yes, at it intensely. Really I remember intense. this intense look. look. My God, at it. And then go away. Just for a, for a few seconds. And then you would sit outside his room. Just like that. We used to visit him also. Yes. Did you? Him. But yeah. uh, Just like. He was not, uh, not very communicative. Communicative. Mm -hmm. But used to uh, be very quiet. He would look at us intensely. And just to ask a few things as to, like, what are you studying? What's your subject? Okay. Very few words. Even Nolini, there are very few words. Yes. Very yes, few words. Yes. Very loud and clear. And we still remember Nolini with his uh, wooden chappas, oh, with yes. his own clothes to be washed, walking down from his room to the and bathroom. soap in hand. With soap in hand. So washing soap simply, in hand. Simply walking up <laughs> to the bathroom shoes. to wash his clothes. Mm -hmm. The yeah. simple, Going. those simple, really, uh, still very much in our minds.
Yes. And the human bhai in, in glory. Yes. In glory. Yeah. Gloria. 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 Yes, Sorry, yes. Gloria. You went to glory. Yes, yeah, many yeah, times. Many a times. And the human bhai would be there going for inspection. And, uh, you know, he used to be there. We used to see him. And what Lakeia workers' mother has had then. Yes, yes. Very sincere. Yeah. He used to be there so often. And this has been a very special blessing for us mm -hmm. to have you both. Uh, thank you so much thank for sharing. Sure. Did you bring anything else or have no, we seen everything? Yeah, these are the two books. These are the mother's cards. Yes. And that's it. Was that, was that was that, the, uh, that, that was written. Yes, written. Yes. written. Yes. Anything else? Yeah. Yeah, all the cards. I think we've shown all the cards. We have a photograph of the uh, my father. That's oh, it. that would be very it's nice. It's a big one, though. Uh, mothers, we couldn't get. We were looking for the mothers. Oh. Okay. We'll get it. We'll get Here, it. this is uh, our father. In fifties, I think he was must be. No, no, this is. Uh, he was sixties. No age. In his, yeah, in his sixties. But sixties after his retirement. Thank you so much for showing yes. us, yes. You were going to tell us about Sri Aurobindo's statue? Yes. In 1978 uh, was uh, the mother's uh, centenary year. So he formed the mother's centenary committee, Howrah, where he was. And uh, the heart of the town, he said, uh, the master's uh, statue has to be kind of uh, installed. And he worked day and night for it. And one of our sculptors, famous sculptor, Karthik Pal, Karthik Chandra Pal, the same uh, sculptor who made Sri Aurobindo's uh, statue in Sri Aurobindo Bhavan, Calcutta, oh, mm -hmm. the same sculptor made this one bust because my father came to know him uh, during 1972 Sri Aurobindo's centenary year so he contacted he said why not I will do it then he went to Krishnanagar you know Krishnanagar is famous for ISKCON it's Krishna consciousness that center mm -hmm. there uh, so there he, there is one colony of only artists and sculptors. It's famous, world famous. The Pals, they are all Pal, oh. P-A-L, Pal. So they, they are famous sculptors and idol makers. Mm -hmm. They are well renowned, world renowned. So Kartik Chandrapal, is it Kartik Chandrapal? He sculpted this Sri Aurobindo's life-size bust huge life-size bust which was installed and it was inaugurated by the president of india no no the go that then he was the vice president of vice president mm -hmm. narayanan i think he was venkataraman venkataraman yes right venkataraman was there then just immediately next year he became the president of india he was vice president after inauguration of that statue mm. he became the president of india so he inaugurated the vice president of India. He said, I won't have uh, small people coming to my master's oh. inauguration. I want the best. And I still remember on 15th August, they would garland his statue and it used to be very high. So all the, since it was in the center of the town, the mayor will come and all the, you know, big shots will come to garland his statue and they found it very difficult <laughs> to climb on it. So he's the same, my so master is my, my master. master. My you master, have you have to climb up. up. You have to go up to, <laughs> you have to climb. He was, means, you, you could say anything and every, everything would be accepted, whatever he said. So this justice was there, he, Shushant Chatterjee. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was climbing up. The other said, oh, it's too high. Satya Brahma, it's too high. 
when Shushant was Chatterjee, the justice, he was climbing up, he said, you have to, you have to look up to him to garland his yeah. So that's the, this we, uh, we wanted to tell you. Yes. It was Thank very, so very much. special. Yes, yes. He was so special. <laughs> he said the whole world should see him. And then anybody who goes by will have to look up to see him. By a car, by whichever vehicle one passes. Okay. Thank you so much.